Yes. I wanted to show you what the switchboard operator in the middle of the international financial system is doing. And when I say middle of the international financial system, above me is 189 ministers of finance and development. And the ones that I'm communicating with are you and I'm bringing your messages to them and their messages to you. Now, uh, let me show you what I tweeted. You see that there's 24 retweets. I've also been putting this up on Facebook and this goes out over the internet and people know right now that this is a dialogue that's going on. Okay. This is a link to an, a letter that I sent to Wolfgang Struck, who is providing very interesting documentation, and that's what I wanted to show you on this screen capture, what he sent to me. And my response to him was uh, on the 17th of October. I said, Dear Wolfgang, when Jose Rizal, and Jose Rizal, we've been talking to you about him, he was the superior general of the Jesuits at the end of World War II, and he deposited all of the assets that the Vatican had at the time into the global debt facility. That means all of humanity's wealth, and there's no question about what's in there, and that trust fund is now being administered by 189 ministers of finance, and of course, you, humanity, are the beneficiaries. Okay, so here's my letter to Wolfgang. When Jose Rizal deposited the global debt facility into the World Bank, and this shows you the documents, and by the way, those documents were sent to me by somebody in the Philippines after I said that Jose Rizal was not the grandson of the royal family in the United Kingdom, that he was 100% Malay, and we were talking about that. Okay, uh, Wolfgang has been giving me a lot of misinformation. And Wolfgang is also somebody who thought I was going to take the assets that belong to humanity and I was going to cut him a deal. And I told him that I wasn't going to cut him any deal and that anybody who's been authorized to sign, and they're authorized by the ministers of finance, uh, not anybody who uh, wants to be uh, somebody. It's got to be authorized by the ministers of finance. And my job is I'm the lawyer for these, this Board of Governors. Okay, um, so let me read you the rest of this letter. We are on track for the global currency reset. Who is we? The Coalition for the Rule of Law as predicted by the power transition model that came to the World Bank from the National War College in 2004. My latest correspondence with the BRICS is here. That's Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. And uh, there's later correspondence, which I will be talking to you about uh, later on in this broadcast. Okay. I sent you this email on September 7th, to which you never responded. Wolfgang, is this your new email address? I'm copying your old address. I'm not clear about many things beginning with this story. And this is some of Wolfgang's lies. And then I said, and then plans to try and discount Treaty of Versailles bonds. That's two quadrillion dollars, which offsets country debt. And Wolfgang thought that I was going to agree on behalf of humanity to uh, uh, sell these bonds back to the Fed. No, the Fed is bankrupt because of these bonds. All right. I'm not sure whether you would accept transaction by transaction authentication or one fourth of 1% as in the monetary agreement. And these are the agreements that are going to be signed, which is going to put the uh, gold that's in the global debt facility into humanity's currency. And I said, anybody who's been authenticated by the Board of Governors is going to get one fourth of 1%. And that amount, that percentage, is what was offered to Ferdinand Marcos by the Trilateral Commission. And Ferdinand Marcos, by the way, didn't take that fee because he wasn't going to betray humanity. But I thought that was um, a correct amount of the fee. 
and that's what I put in the monetary agreement. And I said, Izumi and I have already tried to help and lost over $1,000 in unused transportation costs. That's because Izumi sent Wolfgang $500, and I had already bought Wolfgang some tickets uh, to come to Japan. I was in Japan in 2014, and this is before I knew that Wolfgang Strzok was not going to work for humanity. Um, we do not know what you're thinking about ASM. This is somebody um, who Wolfgang thinks uh, should take over humanity's wealth. Uh, he's a person who is why there's a fight in the South China Sea. And I said that ASM has not been authenticated either. And then I told Wolfgang that I've been tweeting his correspondence. And I said, instead, you have asked me to enrich you, which I refused to do, and also tweeted. And I said, no, to Committee of 300. And the Committee of 300, this is, you can see who is on that committee. The global currency reset that was approved by the Coalition for the Rule of Law on the Board of Governors for the Benefit of Humanity and that will avoid World War III that is tabled with the BRICS, with Japan, with Germany, with the rest of the Board of Governors, with the Postmaster General of the U.S. and I'll explain why it went to the Postmaster General, with the National Conference on Public Employee Retirement Systems, with the Governors of the U.S., with the Adjutants General, with the public, as informed through DCTV and the social media is, and that's, those are the documents for the global currency reset. You have not responded to the deal that is on the table. As the overseer mandate trustee representing the voice and vote of the United States on the Board of Governors during this interregnum until the Constitution of 1789 goes back into effect, I am not considering any unauthorized deals by persons who have not been authenticated by the Board of Governors under paragraph six of the Bilateral Minesfield Breakthrough Successor Agreement. And this is a link to that treaty, which was signed by President Truman and also by General Eisenhower in 1950. And this is what Wolfgang Strzok sent me, and this is the reason that I'm reading you this. It was sent on the 16th of October. Dear Karen, attached there is a document that I will have to have researched in the World Bank. And this is the documentary proof. He's asking me to go outside of the Board of Governors and uh, not to have the global currency reset with the way that Jose Rizal designed it. And here is the document that Wolfgang sent me. This is what I'm showing you. Trust certificate transfer in Philippines National Bank. And this is from Chase Manhattan Bank, Barclays World Bank, under general agreement. By authority of U.S. Federal and U.S. Treasury, given this clearance of ownership through TDM LSM 666, that is the global debt facility, in accordance with the law of ownership, Article 426, 427, and 428. This trust certificate of deposit is received from foreign remittance through uh, BSP, that's the Philippines Central Bank, and transferred vault to vault and ledger to ledger recorded in PNB, that's Philippines National Bank. That is the second largest bank in the Philippines. Special trust deposit dated August 11, 1974 as followed. And it's a trust account number and it's maturity 2005. These uh, assets were supposed to be released in 2005, and we have been fighting with the uh, powers that be over these assets ever since. But they're still in the global debt facility, and they still belong to all of humanity. Okay. This certificate of trust in United States dollar, therefore, we certify that there have been foreign transmittal of fund derived from backup metal with 2.5% interest per annum. And let's see the signatures. It's signed by Father Jose Antonio Diaz, that is Jose Rizal, and Ferdinand Marcos. He was Jose Rizal's lawyer. Okay, now let me, uh, uh, there's another document that Wolfgang wanted you to see. That's Declaration of Ownership and the Trust Deposit. These are the 
uh, monies that are still in the global debt facility. And so let me show you a couple of other links. Um, all right, this is telling you how I've been communicating with you. This is the most viral tweet. And it says we are now in the global currency reset. And there's some links on these documents. I just uh, re put these documents back up. And you can see it's been retweeted 51 times. And it says, help, I've fallen and can't get up. This is gold from China and India under the paper dollar. But we're, the US dollar is not falling because we are not Federal Reserve notes. We're something quite different. That's what this is all about. All right, let me show you another link. Very interesting. All right, this is a press release that was published on Presswire in 2014. Um, this is when I was working in Japan. I went to Japan because of what I knew in the power transition model. And it says the Japan Credit Rating Agency said that the decision that the global coalition for the rule of law will ensure that the world's wealth benefits humankind. Okay, there was another press release which I wanted to show you, and I did a test drive, and it was up today, and then it was taken down, and I called Presswire to ask them why they took it down. And you can see here from this search engine where the link was to that press release, but they took it down. So when I clicked on it to try to show it to you, this time it didn't work, so I called up Presswire to ask them why they took that down, and they wouldn't... Um, they wouldn't put it back up, but I said it didn't matter. I, I was just going to tell everybody that Presswire was not a re reputable um, press release. And let me show you what I got when I did the search engine. You can see here was one of the uh, people that had that link. But if you see what what's going on here, uh, they're trying to crash the paper dollar. They're not letting us... Uh, get credit for the gold that's in the global debt facility. They're trying to start World War III. And I wanted to show you one other link. This should wake you up if nothing else does. Where are we? Where's my cursor? Okay. All right, 23 countries bypass dollar, swap lines to bypass dollar. Again, we are not talking about the dollar because the dollar is really the gold that belongs to us in the global debt facility, is not the Federal Reserve. That's what we're talking about. Okay, that's the end of the demonstration.